So, after two great film, one great film, one good sequel to this, <sighs> Jurassic Park 3 is the third installment in the Jurassic Park series. <clears throat> and this is directed by Joel Johnston and is like produced by Steven Spielberg. So, <sighs> The plot of this movie is that after it being persuaded by a wealthy businessman to conduct an aerial tour of Isla Soma, engine's second site for a failed Jurassic Park experiment, Dr. Alan Grant discovers the true reason for his invitation. A tragic accident maroons the party of seven and they must attempt to escape with their lives with a mother and a father trying to save their son who gets lost. Now, I will admit, Jurassic Park 3 is, is, I like this film, but it's pretty disappointing. And for many reasons. But I want to talk about the good. You got Sam Neill as Dr. Alan Grant. He's back from the first one. Um, the, the son, who's played by Trevor Morgan... He's also pretty cool. He's also the smartest character in the film. <laughs> All of the dinosaurs are nice. That's very cool. This movie is much more shorter than the first two. 92 minutes. And the, t the dinosaurs, they look good for visual effects and animatronics and CGI. And the music is cool, it's catchy, by Donna Davis and are doing original music while John Williams themes are in the film. <laughs> but, also I do have no problem, the cinematography is nice and some of the special effects are, are just great. Now, I do have to point out my negatives here, because I do have some negatives. Um, why in the world, why the story does not make any sense at all. You have Dr. Alan Grant going with a team of seven people to go find William H. Macy and Tia Leone's son. They're good. I don't have a problem with them. It's just most of their acting is crap. You do got Laura Dern in the film. You also have Michael Jetter, one of the mercenaries. <laughs> I know him from the Polar Express, and he's he, he's uh, the late act, he's an actor. He died in the, during production of Polar Express, so this was one of his one of his last movies. I now I do have my negatives. This movie is not directed by Steven Spielberg. And this movie is not based on the book by Michael Crichton. Even though numerous scenes in the film were taken from the first two novels. <laughs> the fight between the T-Rex and this other dinosaur is not good at all. I don't like the fight. The Marine Corps are just in here just to be in here. Most of the script and the dialogue is terrible. Most of the CGI is pretty bad. <laughs> Except for the animatronics and CGI on the dinosaurs. <laughs> in some scenes. And another thing I have a problem with in this film. Is that. Even though this movie is. is this movie was shot. <laughs> while the script was still being written. <laughs> Seriously? What movie does that? How can you start filming without a complete script? Oh, it was the Spinosaurus and find the Spinosaurus Rex. <sighs> Overall, this movie is just pretty disappointing. 
if you're a fan of Jurassic Park like me, you may get some enjoyment out of it, but you may be disappointed. So I'm just gonna have to give this movie a a red box rental. So yeah, let me know in the comments below what you think of this film. Do you like it? Do you dislike it? And I'll see you guys 